So hello everyone and welcome back to the feature, to the sprint race of uh, Silver, at Silverstone and the race I may see a new championship leader that isn't the McLaren may be in the horizon but for that we need to go to a degree and see how things will start for the sprint race and it's Sebastian Vettel starting on pole ahead of Sergio Perez in the front row then it's Daniel Ricciardo starting ahead of, Dan, of uh, Charles Leclerc Max Verstappen is in fifth ahead of Bartry Bottas completing the third row. Then it's myself and Lewis Hamilton. Nico Hulkenberg will round up in the fifth row alongside Grosjean. Brendan Hartley, Hartley is 11th ahead of Esteban Ocon. Then it's the Finn Kimi Raikkonen ahead of Sir Watkin. Um, a row of Spaniards with Alonso and Sainz way down in 15th and 16th. And the other McLaren of Ruben is starting alongside Sure, so that just rates how good he is at this track. Kevin Magnussen sus 19th and Pierre Gasly rounds up the whole grid. Any comments on that, Ruben? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I think I, I will have to resort to apply cold water in the burn. Mm. And, and that's that's I'm, how I'm going to take it. <laughs> We're going to start on softs just... To be safe. Nah. Ruben's going aggressive. He wants the points. Yeah. Uh, I want the points. I don't want to get stuck in the pits. <laughs> so. Fair enough. What? It's quicker for me to pit stop at lap 5. That's weird. Oh yeah, it's quicker for me to put a lap eight on softs. <laughs> okay, right, we're doing that, lads. <laughs> right, lights are coming on now. Lights out for the sprint race, and it's a decent start. Can confirm we're still alive. Just in my help. Yep. Okay, okay, Ricardo just gave me damage for no reason. Oh, come on, Arkley! <laughs> My god, I'm already like three seconds behind. Well, thank you, Sirotkin. Thanks a lot, man. This really hasn't been your weekend. Uh, well, when people spin you in a straight line, not much I can do when you get PIT maneuvered. I didn't know Sirotkin was auditioning for the police. Oh, we gotta do something since they saw his contract. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take softs until the end. Are you going to pit again? Nope. Okay, the game gave me the yards. Why did the game give you the hearts? Go, go, go. I, I have no idea. Did you select the softs? No. Well, I mean... <coughs> I didn't select the softs because that was the strategy. Mediums to softs. You should know that. Always select the tires you want. Yeah, I didn't I didn't check. Well, I'm going to become Martin Brundle again. Real quick. Oh god. Why am I not getting like the interval times? Oh well, this is being quite chaotic between Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen. Oh, a bunch of guys going to the pits. It's Ricciardo, it's Leclerc. Sorry, yeah, it's Ri the pits for Yeah, it's Ricciardo, it's Perez, it's Vettel, it's Hamilton, it's Ulkenberg, Grosjean, Hartley, uh, and Lance Stroll, all of them in the pits. We got lots of changes just happening. 
Uh, Nicole Lucumber getting quite held up. Let's take a look. So, it turns out, oh my god, Ricardo got quite held up. He got jumped by Hamilton and by Vettel. Perez got jumped by Hamilton and Vettel as well. Sorry, no, only by Vettel. Um, yeah. Wow, Lewis Hamilton. He was quite in the tail end of that pack. He came out as the leader of that pack after the pit stops. I think I think right now the net leader is Lewis Hamilton. Oh yeah, I believe so. And behind your good old pal, <laughs> Lance Brendan Hartley. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Charles Leclerc and Bottas are going for a battle. Esteban Ocon is joining the party as well. Ocon couldn't quite make it around the outside. But Bottas overtook Charles Leclerc to the DRS zone and they are all going to the pits. Of course, the first one to get in is Max Verstappen, then Bottas, then Leclerc, then Ocon. Alonso as well. Kimi Raikkonen overtook Sirotkin before entering the pits. Let's see how that goes for Max Verstappen. Last time the car that was pitting in front, the Red Bull got quite held up. Hardly and he's getting held up as well. Yep, he got, he got held up by Alonso coming into the pits and Bottas jumped him. So it might be right now a net 1-2. Let's see. No, Charles Leclerc still got out of the pits ahead of Bottas. That's how it goes though. It might be Lewis Hamilton taking the lead after this. It will be close. No, it's Charles Leclerc with Lewis Hamilton right, right behind him. Then Sebastian Vettel and P3, they are still going at it. The camera is not helping me. Oh, and Hamilton got him. Hamilton got Charles Leclerc into turn 4. And he's now leading the Grand Prix, followed by Leclerc, then Vettel, then Bottas, then Ricciardo, then Max Verstappen, then Sergio Perez, and then Esteban Ocon with Fernando Alonso in P9, Brendan Hartley in P10. As Peppa sits in 11th, followed by Kimi Raikkonen. Lance Stroll is going side by side with Nico Hulkenberg and he takes the inside line and makes the move stick. So it's Nico Hulkenberg in P14, Grosjean in 15th, then Carlos Sainz, Sirotkin, Gasly and, Pierre and Kevin Magnussen. Back to the front. Still have Lewis Hamilton, is going to get very pressurized, I bet. These trio of battling for the first place have already pulled away from both Red Bulls. Let's see how it goes. Sebastian Vettel. Is he going to be able to attack Hamilton? Will Leclerc even be able to attack Hamilton? Doesn't look like it. So Vettel moves on to the inside of Charles Leclerc. And the Ferrari driver just got past the Monegasque. But he might still respawn into the le this last complex. The camera angles are really not helping me. At the moment. Now he takes the inside line and yeah, he maintains P2, but now it's Daniel Ricciardo taking advantage of the speed difference to, to try to have a go at Charles Leclerc, but that didn't work. Valtteri Bottas in the meantime overtook Max Verstappen, so Verstappen is down to P6. And let's see, will Vettel close in on Hamilton? Hamilton also got a couple of car lengths after the battle between the German and the Monegasque. Let's see, Leclerc is closing, closing on Vettel rather quickly. Vettel already does not have DRS to even get closer to Hamilton. Yeah, Hamilton is already over one second and a half away from the German. It might be a win for Lewis Hamilton again. Daniel Ricciardo already lost almost a second to the duo battling for P2. Charles Leclerc goes on the inside of Sebastian Vettel. They are still wheel banging. Wow, that's going to be tricky coming into Magnussen back as they are still side by side. There's contact and Charles Leclerc closes the car. He catches it almost miraculously. He makes the save, but he lost lots of ground. He's going to get now chased down by Daniel Ricciardo. He's going to have the DRS wide open at the slipstream. So Charles Leclerc might still have a fighting chance as he has the DRS, but he doesn't have the track position as Daniel Ricciardo finds the inside line and gets to move on to P4. I believe Charles Leclerc is right beside him. No, he decides to let it go for the time being and he gets dropped for P4. Valtteri Bottas in P5, Verstappen in P6, Sergio Perez joined this train and is now in P7. Fernando Alonso in the meantime overtook Esteban Ocon. And speaking of overtaking Osteban Ocon, Ocon is coming back at the Spaniard and re-overtakes him for a P8. 
very brave maneuver there from the young Frenchman. But yeah, it's Esteban Ocon with the final points bank position at the moment. As Fernando Alonso will have to sit content for the time being with uh, ninth place. Now, jumping back to Daniel Ricciardo, he's already starting to create a gap to Charles Leclerc, who is soon going to start being attacked by Valtteri Bottas, I bet. But yeah, for the time being, he's right on the gearbox of Sebastian Vettel. Don't forget, Ricciardo had a very good qualifying display, so he actually does have good pace around this track. He's really close to the rear wing of that Ferrari. Oh, he's closing in, he's going side by side. Oh, he is. Let's see how it goes. He gets contact with Vettel. Fortunately, no spinners. But that's how it is. Moving oh, back. Oh, God. Yep, Alonso and Ocon are going side by side at the moment. Alonso maintained his uh, P8, but he's going to get attacked by the DRS user. Esteban Ocon Pepper might also take a look at that. Oh, my God. He completely outbreaks everybody else and he makes himself go up to P8. Wow. What a maneuver there from Pepper. Just blasting everyone into a P8 and the last points paying position. Now cutting back to the front, Sergio Perez cost, lost a couple tenths to Max Verstappen. But yeah, it's getting quite tricky. Ricciardo ended up overtaking Sebastian Vettel in that DRS sound. But Lewis Hamilton is... Two seconds away from the closest car, that's Ricciardo. So it looks like Lewis Hamilton is on prime seat to get another win this weekend. Ricciardo goes defensive into turn of six, I believe this is. But, uh, but yeah, nothing to come of that. Despite slightly compromising his apex speed. Well, let's see, Sebastian Vettel is going to take a look at the inside of Daniel Ricciardo through Cops, and he actually pulls it off. Leclerc is forced to slow down a bit, he has to attack. Oh, they are going side by side. Through Magnus and Bagatons once again, will there, uh, well, will there be contact? Looks like not, but Valtteri Bottas is going to take advantage of that and let Daniel Ricciardo hang up to dry or hang out to dry on the outside of the corner. He's going to get himself 2p5. It's still not done as Max Verstappen is joining the mix. He's going to try to have a go at the inside of his own teammate and he actually gets the position and he gets the move done and he's up to p5. Daniel Ricciardo, what a disastrous set of events there. What a disastrous course of action for him, dropping from P3 all the way down to P6, losing some car lengths even in the process, because Charles Leclerc is over one second in front of uh, Valtteri Bottas. Sorry, sorry, I got that wrong. Sebastian Vettel is one and a half seconds in front of Charles Leclerc. The gap is for the car in front, not the car behind. But yeah... So Valtteri Bottas is still chasing quite qu quite closely uh, the Monegasque. The RS wide open as you approach now turn 6. And he actually goes for the inside as you go through the last or the old corner, the last corner of the old layout. Leclerc gets a go now at the inside. But Bottas gets a better exit and gets himself promoted to P3. Let's see now, Daniel Ricciardo is getting pressurized by Sergio Perez, but Sergio Perez doesn't really have opportunity to, to do anything just yet. Very, very close stuff between Max Verstappen, Bottas and Charles Leclerc. They are really nose to rear wing as we finish this third sector. Everybody's going to have a DRS wide open except from, for Bottas, of course. Charles Leclerc... He's getting the inside line, he already got the move done right before the braking zone, and Bottas locks up! Uh, I mean, he didn't lock up, but I don't know what he did, his AI just had a moment there, and he drops from a P3 all the way down to P7, as Pepe has a bit of a tangling moment with Ricardo and Verstappen gets past both of them to get himself up to P4, that cost him time, though. But uh, yeah, oh my god, Max Verstappen is going on inside of Daniel Ricciardo once again. He actually gets the maneuver done through the first corner. What a beautiful, <laughs> a beautiful maneuver there from the, the young Dutchman. Very brave to just throw the car on the inside. It's very close. It's very easy at those speeds to have uh, contacts with your teammate and cause uh, the race to be over for both of them. 
But yeah, Peppa made it through and he's already pulling away from Daniel Ricciardo. Gap is already over one second. I'm sure he's going to start making a case for the, uh, the podium pain positions. He's almost two seconds away from Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc, who is himself uh, two seconds away from Sebastian Vettel. That's how it develops through the next few laps. So we are coming back to Max Verstappen, who's still side by side. Oh, let's see, will there, will there be content? Doesn't look like it. Max Verstappen has the inside line. He's going to come out ahead. Well, let's take a look at Valtteri Bottas. Where's the RS? Verstappen does not have the RS. Bottas already overtook Ricciardo. And he overtakes Verstappen. All that. It's going to be three wide into the... the I don't know the name of that corner, unfortunately. It's going to be three wide again as Perez joins the party. There is actually a squeeze there from Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen, after getting squeezed on the brink of losing down to P7, actually made his way past. He made it three wide again to the last corner. He made himself up to P5. How the hell did he do that? What a maneuver there from the young Dutchman. As Valtteri Bottas is going to stay content with P6 for now. As he got cleared by a couple of car lines from Daniel Ricciardo, who is now leading a very big train. Composed of Perez, Ocon, Alonso, Hartley, and of course Ricardo himself. It's a train from 7th to P11. And Valtteri Bottas using the RS, getting even closer to Max Verstappen, pulling away even further from Daniel Ricciardo. Then Ricciardo might be in trouble for the next few laps if he doesn't close the gap between himself and the Finn of the Mercedes. Let's see how that goes. He's getting rather close to Daniel Ricciardo. Sorry, to Max Verstappen. Let's see as we finish now the second sector. I can see the dashboard on Bottas' wheel. As Sergio Perez is DNFing. Sergio Perez just got an engine blowout. And he is out of the Grand Prix. Come on. Also, oh my god, we have a crash. What the hell happened there? We had an incident between uh, oh. Stroll and someone else. Oh, and this was already the last lap, I didn't even notice, but Lewis Hamilton wins, followed by Sebastian Vettel and Peppa in the last lap, overtakes his teammate to claim himself a podium paint position. What, oh, an, what an intense last lap. But yeah, I didn't even notice that was the last lap, unfortunately. Whew. But yeah, Lewis Hamilton takes home the win. It... it it takes home the win of both races. I don't think anyone has done that. Has, the, has anyone done this in F2 before? I don't, think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I think Lewis Hamilton is the first ever to win both races of a single race we can here in this series. He's alongside Sebastian Vettel and Peppa once again on the podium. Let's take a look at how everything closed up. Oh, I missed out yes. on the fastest lap by like a tenth. <laughs> yeah, by a tenth. Like... Yeah, it was by a tenth. Uh, so yeah, it's Lewis Hamilton taking home the win, followed by Sebastian Vettel with Pepper in P3, Charles Leclerc in P4, Valtteri Bottas in P5, Max Verstappen in P6, followed by Daniel Ricciardo in P7, and Esteban Ocon gets the last of the points pink positions with P8. Then we have uh, Fernand, Fernando Alonso in P9, Brandon Hartley closing the top 10, as we have Roman Grosjean in 11th, followed by Carlos Sainz, Kimi Raikkonen, and Kevin Magnussen. Actually had a good race, he improved uh, 5 places, but uh, still, it's, since he started 19th, that doesn't mean much. Pierre Gasly also jumped 5 places, Sergei Sirotkin is in 16th, with Lance Stroll in 17th, Nico Hulkenberg started the race in 9th, finishes in 18th, a disastrous race for him, as Sergio Perez and myself are the victims of this race, not being the only ones not completing the full 13 laps of this race. So with that, I'm guessing Pepper has been working on the standings. Uh, are they ready? I'm still shaking for this race. <laughs> After everyone pitted, I swear to God, I was just pushing and pushing and pushing. Yeah, I, oh. I know how that feels. This may have been the greatest weekend of this season so far. Yeah, for you, it probably Definitely was. Definitely the yeah. most action-packed one. 
Oh yeah, Austria, uh, Austria yeah. and this one. Every single time I DNF, the race is a clusterfuck. Basically. <laughs> Pretty much. But uh, yeah, we have a new leader. Uh, Valtteri Bottas is now leading the F2 Championship. Uh, midway through the season on 124 points. Uh, Ruben stays second on 117. Then Alonso and myself are tied on 114. Wow. So it's 10 points separating the top four. Then Lewis Hamilton is the fifth man to get into three di digit numbers on 103 points. Then it's 82 points for Perez, 76 for Vettel. Leclerc is on 62 ahead of Esteban Ocon. 55 points for Max Verstappen, who had a very good weekend here in uh, Britain. Then it's 51 points for Raikkonen, 50 for Carlos Sainz, 44 for Daniel Ricciardo, 42 for Grosjean, Stroll still on 29, Hockenberg on 21, Gasly on 15, Hartley on 6, Sirotkin on 4, and Magnussen yet to score any more points to add to his single one gotten in Spain. So, yeah, we have a new leader. It's not a McLaren. Happy days! <laughs> well, oh yeah. My God. Well, you win some, you, lo you win some, you lose some. I definitely lost yep. this one. <laughs> <laughs> what is up next? Is it Spa? Germany. Germany. Oh. Yeah. We have Germany after Britain. Yeah, the bonus race of this season, which wasn't actually in the calendar oh, okay. for F2, but... Okay, okay. Well, yeah. That's okay. Well... It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm not too bad at that track, so... You said this of Silverson. I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... I yeah, you are right. I I I I'm decent when I have a setup on the car. That's that's my experience. Without the setup, I don't know. But with the setup in the car, I'm I'm quite decent at the track. So, let's see how that goes. Let's see if Bottas can maintain his lead. We'll see if there's a six consecutive McLaren pole position and so many other stuff you can catch up when we first come back to Germany in Hockenheim next week. Until then, goodbye.